Hi guys, thank you so much for making the time to watch this video. Today I want to talk about false loyalties. False loyalties in the sense that we have placed people on a certain pedestal and we feel that they will never betray us, they will never do us wrong, and distrust will never come our way. We have placed these friends that we have so highly and we have said that they will never ever disappoint us. Never. But today I want to let you know about a little secret that God himself tells us not to place our trust in men, not to place our trust in people. You see, you can look through your contact list and at the time that you need help the most, you will see that you almost have no one. Through the hundreds of contacts you have, it is sad that you will have to scroll through to think of who you can ask for help from. This is a desperate state that we are all in, a state of desperation that we don't see that people are never there when we really need them the most. False loyalties is what I call them. That during good times we declare to people that this is my friend. This person will never disappoint me. This person will never let me go. But this could be the same friend that is gossiping and saying things about you. False loyalties. We see in the book of Matthew 26 th verse 33 how uh, Peter sorry, says that he, he loves Jesus and he will be with Jesus until the end of time. And Jesus himself tells Peter, you will deny me. Jesus knowing what personalities humans have. But Peter insisting that he will never, 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 never let go of Jesus. And he will be with Jesus until things turn south. But yet, as we read the scriptures, we see how Peter denies Jesus, not once, not twice, but three times when we read the book of Luke. It is in Luke chapter 22, how Peter just explicitly denies Jesus, writing off that he knows Jesus. If Jesus himself, that had 72 disciples, we read that in uh, the book of Luke chapter 10, I presume, if Jesus himself had that had 70, he assigned 72, 72 disciples to go out and spread the message. If Jesus had 72 disciples following him, but at the time of his crucifixion had zero individuals by his side, no one willing to step in and say, this is Jesus Christ, our savior that we followed. No one was bold enough to do that. But during Jesus' good times, they were following him around when he had no real challenge. You see, if Jesus himself had his people deny him, who are we to think that the people that are with us will perfectly follow us? If the man that was making miracles, that was healing the sick, had no one by his side in the time he needed the most, who are we to think that the individuals that are currently by our side will stick in the long haul? I'm telling you right now, lay your trust upon Jesus. Choose wisely which friends you select and allow in your circles. Lay your trust levels so softly on individuals and more on God that you know he won't let you go. Stop relying on friends and placing your trust on friends, giving them all you have emotionally, materially. Start trusting Jesus and lay all your trust and burdens upon him. He is the real deal. These people around us are not really for us. And as long as we are for them, they are for us. And when times come, they will desert you. There's a high chance based on the fact that they're just humans. That they will desert you. Trust Jesus. Place your trust on Jesus. Take it away from the, from the man that God had created. Place it upon the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The one that says Emmanuel, God with us. God will not desert you. But people will. Peace.